Hello, lovely people. Welcome to that Geek Cupboard. I am Penja. Welcome back to Mega Aquarium, where last time out, we built this lovely aquarium here. Here at Sunnyside, from nothing, from humble beginnings, this has now been created. And it's doing very well for itself. It's got some good prestige. It seems to be relatively profitable. But we are going to leave here, because we've completed this. This is the first level of the campaign, and we've done it. Indeed, it says here in the little notes, you win, <laughs> which I did quite like. I like being told I win things. That's good. So, yeah, we finished that. It's all done. You've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium and people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in North Woods. So we scroll down here and yes, I am ready to take the job at North Woods. Farewell, level one. It was good knowing you, but now we are to go to North Woods. Establish your name by refurbishing this old aquarium. Ah, so this one is already in existence, but it's going to be a bit run down and we've got to kind of, you know, spruce it up and make it nice again. Okay, which is a bit of a contrast to that. That was a, you know, you've got a completely blank canvas, go and build some stuff. This is, you've got to actually sort of bring something back to life. Okay, yes, we'll have that on normal mode. Thank you very much. I don't want to do that on difficult mode. Welcome to North Woods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks, some decorations, and even a couple of surviving fish. Oh, that's exciting. Why is there a barrel with XXX on it? What's going on there? Okay, the aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. So science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. Okay, uh, are we paused? Right, so we're not open yet. This is not open, so time is not passing. So we've got two grand in the bank. Restock is our current goal thing. Combined science across animals, 40. Build a tool station. Yep, yeah, hire at least one staff. Open the aquarium. Okay. So what have we got going on? That needs some food. So these have all got food. These have all got staff. Are they staff doors? Oh, look at that. Ah, so instead of people being able to wander around the whole of the tank, they can only look through the uh, little window here, and the staff can come in and give them food, but the uh, viewing public can only come in and look at them through these little windows here, which I guess makes more sense. <laughs> it makes a bit more sense as to what I was doing, but okay, that's fine. Um, immediate concern there is the water quality of that is is quite poor. Let's sort that out right now. Let's put a... Ooh. Oh, we've got shiny new things. We've got a power filter and a power heater. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Right, basic filter for this because this is water's not filtered enough. So if we pop that there, that should sort that, that out. Is that okay? 67 out of 60. Right, so that's now sorted. Ah, but no one can get to that. Okay, can we move that to just there then? Okay, splendid. So that's still fine. Oh, no, I've gone to... Hang on, come out of move mode. <laughs> Don't move that, though. Don't move any of that around. Okay, fine. Um, and then this little aquarium here is looking fine. That's fine and that's fine. So that's all good. There's only a few fish in that one and there's some fish in there. So they've got... Arabian blue... I can't read it, it's too small. Arabian blue line dotty backs. That's got some yellow tang in it. I think that looks empty. Yep, that's completely empty. That looks empty. And that looks empty. Oh no, that's got something in. Oh, okay, I just can't see them from here. They're hiding behind the wall. Where are they? There they are! Hi, fish! So yeah, they're half and half chromatoids, whatever they were called. <laughs> I don't know what they were called. Um, build a tool station. That could well go in here. This looks like a fairly big, fairly big room. In fact, you know what? Let's put one on this side and one on that side. I don't think they cost very much. 90. Do you know what? We could have one in each room. We could have one in each bit. We could put a tool station there, a tool station there, and a tool station there. I don't think it's going to cost us particularly that much money. I think we're fine with that. So there we go. Done that. Hire at least one staff. I think two is probably a good thing. So Claire... Great all-rounder. You've got two and two. Romeo. That's very cool. Yeah, we'll have a Romeo. He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. Isla. Three years of mucking out land-based animals at the zoo. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you'd want to change. Or Ulrika. So Ulrika can't actually feed animals. Ulrika is purely a fixing person. She does not know how to feed fish. I mean, how difficult is it? You get food from here. You put it in the tank. How difficult can it be? I don't know. Let's get you. 
Claire is good. 32 per day. That's not very much at all. We'll have you because you're good at feeding and fixing. So we'll have you. And then we wouldn't mind someone who's just... I mean, you're good at fixing. So let's hire you. And I won't mind somebody else around as well. You're good at feeding. Yeah, you're better at feeding. So we'll have you. And then let's go to manage them. So Isla can do more. In fact, you can solely do feeding, Isla. Um... Ulrika can solely do fixing and Claire can sort of flip between the two. Claire can go between the two and be a bit varied. Right, combined science across animals 0 out of 40. Add animals to your aquarium until the combined value across all tanks is 40. Okay, so this is presumably going to give us a new thing. Hang on, that tank needs something else in it. Come on, that's, that's very drab. Rubble. Eelgrass? <gasps> What's eelgrass? We've got shiny new things. I like this. So we can put in... Oh, oh, look. Oh, it's an eel. It's an eel. It's very exciting. Oh, look at that. We're a royal grammar. Oh, this is cool. We've got some new things to put in. So that generates five science points. Whenever somebody watches one of those, it generates five science points. Okay, I like that. That's very cool. What's that? Um, I eat or damage crustaceans with a size one or less. Okay, so that eats smaller things. It also eats mussels. Are we able to provide some sort of muscle mussels dispenser? Oh, look at this. There's lots of extra things. Okay. Mussels dispenser probably should go in. Right, the eels can go in here. The eels can go there. I'm having eels. I'm absolutely having eels. <laughs> Want some eels, please? Uh, so they need... Uh, some cave stuff. Yep, absolutely. I can completely, uh, completely, completely help with that. There we go. Cave thing. And let's put in some rubble. Because that... Oh, the rubble's huge. Oh, the rubble is massive. Okay, right. I possibly should have put that in first. Never mind. Let's just put some small rocks in just there. That's nice. Uh, so that's that sorted. Now let's put these in. So a zebra moray eel uh, can be a size four to nine. Okay. So how do I know how much that is? Ray zebra moray eel. You just place your first zebra moray moray. I don't know how you pronounce that. Whatever that word there. Zebra moray moray starts small but will grow larger. Grown up animals are worth more points, but they will only grow if you fulfil all of their care requirements and make sure there is enough space in the tank. Ah, okay. So I'm only going to put one of them in. I'm not going to put another one of those in because that will probably be, probably be bad. Because then yeah, he is going to grow. That one's going to grow. Up to 15. If they can grow up to 9, it'll be 18. And that's just generally just silly. That's not going to work out for anybody, is it? Um, over here, then. In this one here, they've got 20 of those. Let's get ourselves. We're just going to need to put lots of those in there, aren't we? Royal Grammars. So let's go 1, 2, 3. Let's fill that up. Yay, we've done the thing. <laughs> that's precisely what we needed to do. Do exactly the right amount of numbers and it worked. Okay. So then we need to put something in there to make that look a bit pretty. Um, do you want us to put rubble in? Let's throw some rubble down just there and just see what it looks like. It looks lovely. And in here, in here, right, let's let's go, go to that. Let's right click to pick that up. Let's move that over there. And I do love the uh, the mechanics of that. That's very cool. I just like the option. Yeah, you can go click, click. There we go. It's all moved. And in here, we've got ourselves eel grass. Given there's an eel in there. Makes sense to have eelgrass right in there. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're ready to open. Let's open the mega aquarium. Let's open this place. I can't remember what it's called now. North Woods, was it? North Woods, something like that. Um, what are those barrels? Just decoration. Are they just little sort of decorative items? Do I get anything else? Uh, a bench might be useful, you know. A bench might be a nice thing. However, yeah, I can't tuck them down there quite as much as I'd like. Oh, there, there we go. We can put one there. That's fine. That's quite nice. I don't want to put them in front of the doors <laughs> or in front of the viewing things. That's not very good, is it? But just there seems to work quite well. Um, and can we put one at the end of that corridor as well? Just there? Yay, right. So a couple of benches are down as well. Right, open. Open. Let's get people in. Good work. The aquarium is restocked and it's open to the public once more. I mean, that didn't take that much renovating, to be honest. But okay, that's fine. You may have noticed that all the tanks at Northwoods are embedded into the walls. They're called, unimaginatively, wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via another. Yes, I kind of got that. This allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff door allows your staff through. Yes, while blocking guests. I got that. All of this is useful because from rank 3, guests expect your equipment to be hidden away. 
And they will complain otherwise. Ah, so if they can see all the pumps and stuff, they don't like it. Your next objective is to build your own wall tank matching the specification in your objectives. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? And look, we've got a bit of variety. We've got a little bit of variety coming in. We can either spend our ecology on uh, going toward a coral grouper or a flame angel fish. Uh, that gives us more science points, whereas that gives us ecology points. I don't really know. So they both cost 300. I don't know what the, why that one gives us science and that one gives us ecology points. I don't know. They both look like fish. <laughs> I'm not sure. What's that? May eat fish with size 2 or less. Uh, may eat or damage stony corals, clams, and gorgonians. What's a gorgonian? That's like a thing from Jason the Argonauts or something. It sounds like a monster. Okay, right. So we're going to have some gorgons. I have to be a bit wary of those. Uh, let's get ourselves... What about... Well, let's get some science stuff. Seeing as this level is kind of teaching us about science. Let's get the coral groupers and have some sciencey stuff going down. So let's do that. I want to move that barrel to there and that barrel to... Okay, science projects kind of come into the way, but right you are. Power combi gives us filtering and heating. Okay, requires greater than or equal to the tank thing. Right, it's relatively reliable. What's that? Fixing this will be time consuming for staff without some skill. Okay, and that is the time thing of how long it's going to take. Whereas a basic pump... Pumping power can connect to tanks up to seven tiles away. Can connect up to one tank. I don't really know what that does. A pump. Pumps water between the tanks. So you don't have to have many, many filters. I'm not sure. Let's get a power combi because I understand kind of what that one does. <laughs> That'll do. Right. Let, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's move that round to it's like near the wall. And that one can also be near the wall. Just there. There we go. Lovely. Right. Come out of, come out of move mode. So everyone's going about their business. Everyone's doing stuff. We have got to build ourselves a wall tank. What could possibly go wrong? So a wall tank. A corner tank. This is very cool. And an observer tank. What's the difference between a wall tank and an observer tank? Oh. That's sticky out. That's an observer tank from three sides. Corner tank is two sides. And a wall tank is one. Okay. Well, let's put a wall tank just there. Like that. That's, and that's probably just like that, actually. It's a bit like the one that's by the door. That'll do. Like so. There we go. Oh, no. I didn't read. The size is going to be three by three. Hang on. Can we can we rejig the size of that? Don't know if we can rejig the size of that thing once it's done. Can we do that? What's that thing do? Uh, ah, there we go. And then can we, can we put that down and then make it a bit... Can we drag it to make it bigger? Okay, how can we resize? There must be a way to resize these things. Do you know what? Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> Let's just get rid of it and pretend that I didn't do that. Right. Uh, there we go. Three by three. Like that is probably a good idea. Yay. Right. And then we need to build some walls. So we need some walls and a door. Also, I'm going to put another tank along there. So, yeah, that might make sense to have another tank next door. So right now, then, let's get a wall. Let's just wall that whole bit off like that. Uh, oh, okay. Valid placement location. To there, then. Oh, okay, right. Oh, no, you're you're trapped. You need to walk through the wall. Nope, you're you're stuck. <laughs> can, can you come out, please? And we're going to get ourselves a door. Um, oh. Oh, hang on. How do I build the doors? Well, oh, the doors are in here. That's it. That's where the doors are. Um, and then we're going to put the door at the end. Invalid placement location. I'm a bit confused as to how to place the doors. Ah... I wonder if we have to... Can we remove... Can we undo that? Can we remove that bit of wall? Uh, okay, yeah. I want to kill that bit of wall, please. I want to destroy that bit of wall. Just there. Because I suspect the doors go in a gap. You don't build it on the, on the wall. You build it where there's a gap. Yes, like that. Staff door in. Okay, right. We're, we're, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We're learning. It's a learning process. It's all fine. Lots of our equipment just has broken. Lots of our equipment is broken all at the same time. <laughs> that is bad. Um, I want to get these in. I want to get those animals in. Because I don't think we can have much... Oh, no, we can. It's, a, it's given us a load of other stuff. It's given us a load of other stuff. Okay. So have we got any of these black bar soldier fish? Do we have any of those in? What happens if we click that? 
Oh, it's an entrance. Entrance price is $49. Wow, hey. Okay, that's that's good. Um, that has got the eel in it. That's got some stuff. What's that? What's that got in it? The Arabian something dotty back. So I don't think... I don't think we've got any of the Black Bar soldier fish in. So they just need some cave type arrangements going on. So let's throw in a little driftwood cave at the front so people can see them. And then let's get ourselves some, some good old lettuce. Lovely bit of lettuce. Tremendous. Uh, hang on. Let's pause time. Let's pause time for a second. And then we'll get ourselves some rocks. Chuck a rock. Chuck a couple of rocks in at the back. And then let's get ourselves some of those. So one, two, three, and four. Then we need to go through to here and get ourselves a combi mini. Probably should suffice. I imagine that should be okay. If we do that, what qualities? No, nor the temperature. Ah, because it's a bigger tank. It's a bigger tank. Maybe I need to put in some better things. So a power filter. A power filter and a power heater. Yeah, that would work. It also needs another stony thing in there. That's fine. We can throw another cave thing in across there somewhere. But yeah, so, okay, we need... We need one of those. We need a power heater and a power filter. The combi mini will not cut it. The combi mini is not sufficient. Right. Sell the combi mini. Farewell combi mini. Clear the thing. Uh, go to there. Power filter. Let's tuck that into the corner. That's beautiful. And then we want to get ourselves a power heater, which we're going to put just there. Right. They're all good. Nicely done. The next stage of the aquarium's expansion is down to you. You'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales. So keep an eye on the cash flow. Uh, accessible. Yes. Okay. Right. Jolly good. Ah. So now I've just got to wait. I've just got to get to 160 prestige. Okay. That's cool. What we can do right now is let's take out these bits of wall. We don't need that or that or that or that anymore. And in fact, what we could do is... So they've got food down there. Let's go into move mode. Move. No, not that. <laughs> not that. That. Move that there. And now they can get round. So they can walk all the way around there if they want to. They can get the food from there and take it to here, which is pretty cool. I like that. So that's working quite well. I like that idea. So now, right, let's just move time on. Run things on. I like the eel. I like that we've got a little eel. That's very cool. So, okay, right. Prestige is coming through. Lots of prestige is being. Look, blah, blah, blah. Lots of little bubbly bubbly is coming up. So we're going to have to wait, I think. What do all these buttons do in the corner then? Hang on. Let's come out of that thing. Uh, what's that do? Toggle view rate overlay. Okay. So these are... Ah, right. Hang on. Pause. They do not have enough stony stones. They need some more rocks. Uh, no, caves. They need more cave type things. Okay, yeah, let's throw another cave thing in just there. That'll do. Six out of four. Now, hopefully that should go up. Oh, this is very good. I like the little useful things. Yeah, there we go. That's going up. That's quite nice. Uh, toggle tank capacity. Uh, okay. Okay, so we could always put a few more things in. We can always throw another another couple of fish into there. Uh, they're the black bar soldier fish, aren't they? So we could put another one of those in. In fact, let's put another... I oh, know the tank is full, of course, they're four each. Okay. Throw another one in there. That's full, that's full. They're the Ah, uh, yeah, we haven't got any more of those. I was gonna say they're the, the chroma ones. They're the ones which are black and white. We haven't got any more of those. That's the eel. He will start growing. That won't fit. And which ones are they? The Arabian blue something or other spotty backs. Can we have them? Um no. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> What we do is then, let's wait for these guys. Let's get this in. These things here will be very good. Our prestige is going up. Great guns. That's very cool. Right, so we can turn the capacity thing off. I like the view rate thing. What's that do? Toggle points totals. Ah, that shows us whether we get science and ecology. That's cool. Guest needs. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing much. That's fine. I'm going to assume they're all fine. Toggle tasks. Toggle warnings. Toggle walls. Organize windows. Close the windows. Right, okay. Okay, that's fine. So, right now, I think we just need to leave it. We need to leave it until we've got enough to get our coral groupers in. Get the coral groupers. Put them over there, say. 
Yeah, do we expand out that way a little bit? I think we might need to expand over that way a little bit. So we grab that. I mean, how expensive is it to just drag that out? 650. Let's drag out another one. So 780. We are going to need to pause time for a second. Uh, yeah, right. Come out of that. Don't need to do that anymore. We are going to need to construct ourselves a wall. Ha, however, do we want to go for a fancy tank? Do we want to go for an observer tank like that? Which sticks out a bit. So we could put that, say, there. Oh, that's a bit narrow, narrow going down that way, though, isn't it? That does not leave a lot of room just there. Why don't we put that kind of there? And that could be in like a little corridor bit. So it can lead you through and it can look all very lovely. And then I want to get walls, wally walls. Drop in a wall to there. Very nice. And then drop in a wall to there. Okay, so we've got a tank ready just there. This does seem like a bit of a waste of space over here now. We could put another tank in just here with some other fishing that we haven't got. And that would help right now. So let's take that door out. Bosh the door. Drop a wall back in, which is lovely. Oh, I do like I like the, the, the ease of the uh, of the sort of the way that it all functions and flows. It's very nice. Right, grab a door. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. Grab a door. Just there. And then, yeah, so let's get ourselves another wall tank. So, yes, yeah, so we can't put it there. So we could have another three. We could have four. We could have one, two, yeah, okay, we could drag that out quite a bit. So let's go, uh, certainly one, two, three. Do we want a size four tank? That might be quite hard to keep all the power and stuff, you know, keep it sort of filtered and what have you. Um, no, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that for now. And we'll just have a three. We'll have a three, and I'm sure that'll be lovely. I'm sure that'll be fine. Right, a wall tank, drag it out like that. Push it back a bit, like so. That's very cool. We need to get ourselves some fish in there. So what should we have? We haven't got any of these things. We haven't got any of these. So can we mix them up? Can we have some Azure Demoiselles and some King Demoiselles in the same place? They're wimps, but these guys aren't bullies, so it should be fine. So let's drop one, two, three of those in. And then go into fish and get some King Demoiselles. Four, five six seven eight let's put eight in and then let's get ourselves another couple of the azure ones like that so there's a nice mix of those fish in there and then obviously we need to put all the bump in so let's have a look right click what does it need then temperature 23 water quality of 55 so we need to go into there basic heat is not going to cut it a power heater would work and 36 filtering yes definitely put one of those in uh drop that just there so that's fine so that's that done and then yeah we're gonna need one of the power thing of bobs again are we gonna need a power filter 16 what does that how does that equate in terms of those numbers 16 percent i don't really know let's find out let's press enough buttons to see what happens so that made it go up to 61 is that right 61 out of 55 so they're all good that is now going to sit and merrily tick away and do some good stuff for us. So let's put in there some rubble, because that'll look kind of pretty. And then let's get ourselves some eel grass at the front, like that. And then just because, just because I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss it if I don't have it. So let's, let's have a little lettuce, a little tiny lettuce, just sat there going, "Hello, I'm at the front. I'm a lettuce. Look at me." So that's that done, and that will attract some nice stuff. So that should bring some more prestige in. That'll help. Uh, in the meantime, we need to do something with this bit as well. We need to do something with this. Let's get a wall. Let's just bring that across there. Let's bring that down for now. Let's just block that bit off. And then up here, I think we might need to have some more of these things. Because they're going to have to walk quite a long way otherwise. So let's just pop an orange pellet dispenser just there. And it might be worth getting a new member of staff as well. Romeo, you're hired. Come on in, Romeo. There we go. So now, we can see what's going on with these guys. So nobody's come to view it yet, but that's because they've only just appeared. There you go, look, they're living already. Yes, woo, shiny new fish things. Very exciting. This is empty. This is going to be for these guys when we get there eventually. Sorry, it's empty right now. Sorry, don't don't be sad. <laughs> don't be too sad. Uh, also, 
we probably could do with uh, some benches. We could put some benches maybe here. We pop a bench there, like that. And that's got some... Ooh, access is being blocked. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I just thought I could just put them back to back. That would be fine. Yay, and new animals have been unlocked. The coral groupers are unlocked. Pick. Yeah, well, flame angel fish as it is, because we've got nothing else. We've unlocked these. Let's take a look. A couple of care requirements I haven't seen before. They're greedy, which means they eat more and lower water quality more than other animals. They dislike conspecifics, which means uh, only one may be kept per tank. One what? One fit? One coral grouper per tank. Okay, that's fine. Finally, they may eat fish and crustaceans which are smaller than itself. Hover over the warning icon <laughs> to find out more. So, tiny fish or tiny crustaceans. Okay. So, there can only be one of those per tank. Cannot be housed with a coral grouper. Okay. So, we could put that on its own and then put one of those things in, possibly. That might be a good idea. Uh, let's move that bench to just there. And then move that bench just there for now. Little sort of seating area. Why not? In fact, we can move that there. Look. That's fine. That's fine. I should possibly have not sold the other one. I could just put that bench back like that. There we go. Plenty of seating for everybody around here. Day five. We've got some money coming in. It's looking okay. Right. Just here. Let's sort this out then. Let's put in a coral grouper. One of those into there. And obviously, yes, it's going to be causing all sorts of stuff because it's not hot enough and what have you. It needs to be 15 degrees. Let's throw in some stuff. It needs to have a little cave. It needs to have a little cave system going on. We'll have that. Uh, Drifwood cave that side, I think. And then let's throw in... It doesn't need greenery, does it? No. So let's throw in just some rocks at the back. And then let's put in... Let's put in a lovely lettuce. Just there, everyone. More lettuce. The land of lettuce. Uh, they eat mussels, so we're going to need to put in a mussels dispenser. Absolutely no problems with that. Beautiful. And let's get the actual things that are going to keep them alive <laughs> so they're not going to die. Let's put in... So that only needs to be a temperature of 15 because it's small. So let's put a basic heat... In fact, would a combi mini cope with that okay? Uh, yes, it would. Yes, it would. Because I'm not going to put much else in there. Not going to put much else in there. So in there, he's going to be sat on his own. Is that going to make him a bit miserable? I don't know. Hang on. Let's see. Where are those big... Those things? Those... They eat the green food. That's why we need to put another green dispenser thing down there. So... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I've, I've blocked access to that thing. Uh, That can go... There. Yeah. That'll do. And that could go in there now. and move it slightly out of the way. There we go. Um, Yeah. Where are those yellowy... Yellow fit, the big yellow, yellow tang. Size 6, they need a bit of greenery, that's fine. 60% water quality. But yeah, they're size 6. So if I put that in there, that is now, the water quality is not sufficient. So come out of that. So we need to take the that filter out or slap another smaller filter in. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just put a basic filter in and see if that works. Will that bump it up? Yeah, 65 out of 60. That's all cool. Right, now let's open. Let's, well, not open. Let's run time forward again. And now everyone can come and marvel. Marvel at the wonderful super fish. Yes, look at the points coming in. Look at the prestige points rolling in. Oh, oh, hang on. You're getting big. You are getting big. How? Uh, fish size. You've got it to nine? Oh my goodness me. Yeah, you're you're a big fish. You're a big fish now. Let's put in a basic filter on that side to up your water quality. There we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's all fine. Worry not, people. Uh, yeah, we need food. Everybody seems to need food. Can we get on with feeding things, please? Because these need food. You're on that case. Okay, good. Uh, the, the, the eel needs some food as well. Can we all just get on with feeding the fish? Feeding them is important. Don't want them to be dead. So those guys are doing that. Oh, you're going to mend something. Oh, what's broken? Looks like you're going to mend something. Don't quite know what you're mending, though. Uh, I know you're putting mussels into the, into the thing. Oh, there's a mussels thing just there. Just there for that very purpose. Where did you get those mussels from? Over there. 
I think you went there and got them. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm sure it's all fine. So, okay, it's all ticking over nicely. This is a good excuse for me to go and have a little bit of tea. A little sip of tea, you know, to keep me keep me ticking over. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll come back, hopefully. I don't know, maybe we need to do some more stuff. But yeah, tea first. And my flame angelfish is now unlocked. Okay, so I've got no other ecology research. It's not got to be to the bottom saying, pick your next research, I don't think. So, uh, okay, it dislikes conspecifics, whatever that means, which means only one may be kept per time. Ah, right, it's another one of these sort of solo fish that doesn't like other fish. Okay, that's fair enough. We've nearly got this thing done as well. We've nearly unlocked this heater thing. 148 out of 160 we've got. Now, we must be able to do better than that. So here is a good space for something. Just there is a space. We could certainly fit something into there. We've got to be able to. So what tank could we put in there? We could. Could we fit in a corner tank just there? That might work quite nicely. That might be quite good. Can we move things around? Right, move that there. And, and connect it to that. Yes, obviously. Move that to there. So that's fine. And then if we get rid of... Hang on. Right, let's have a look. Corner tank. How does it work? So it would need to sit there is it allowed to be just there let's try it let's take out those bits of wall so one uh swivel it around two three four and then grab ourselves a corner tank. yes it is right okay yeah put a corner tank in and then in there let's get the new fish whatever it was called what was it the flame angel fish so pop one of those in and Okay, so it can't go with any other fish in that tank uh, of that type. So it needs a bit of grass. It needs, obviously, all the bump with it. Okay, so let's give it some, some eel grass at the front. Very nice. And then at the back, uh, a rock. In fact, you know what? Have a couple of rocks. Let's wiggle them around like that. Some rocks help with filtering. And then let's give it uh, the small pump thing. Should be all right, actually. The combi mini should suffice for that, I think. Yeah, there we go. That works. So what else can we put in there? That needs green food. There's a green food dispenser thing there. What else can we put in there? Can we put another fish in? What um, what size have we got? Three out of ten. So we've got a little bit of room. Uh, what do they do? What don't they like? They don't like... Uh, may eat or damage stony corals, clams or gorgonians. Ah, so it's not eating other fish. Not like that one. That's going to eat other fish with a size two. That's just going to eat coral, clams, and gorgonians. <laughs> Whatever a gorgonian might be, I don't know. Uh, let's get ourselves some orchid dotty backs. Have we got any of those? Not entirely. Are they orchid dotty? Hang on, hang on. Come out of that. Come out. Abandon. Abandon hope. Are they orchid dotty backs? And they're royal grammars. I don't think we've got any orchid dotty backs. So let's get ourselves some of those. Let's just drop a couple in there just to make sure the water thing is still fine. There we go, like that. So throw them in. That's all good. I've got the food dispenser things over here. Got yellow and green. Right, rock on. Do you know what we might need? Let's put time onto normal speed. A door down here would be would be pretty beneficial <laughs> for the uh, for the staff. Let's get a door. Oh, pumps. Impressive work. Oh, we must have done the thing. We must have actually achieved our sort of goal thing up there. Impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven you're ready for even more advanced aquarium design techniques. Do not hold your breath. This is me. Uh, it's time to learn about pumps. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment far away from your tanks. Instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. directly to the tank, you attach them to the pump, which is several tiles away. Okay. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and tank configuration matching the specification in your objectives. So we can have a pump that then connects to the tank so they can walk around it and it pumps it presumably up and under the ground or something like that. Okay, so you attach the things to the pump. Right, uh, well, let's give it a go, shall we? Oh my goodness, I just want to put a door. New no. combined filters unlocked. Okay, so power combi is done. So what does that give us? 40 cleaning, 40 temperature. Good grief. Uh, 85 reliability and yeah, that little thing there. Skill is required. Okay, so pick next research. Now we need to re research a basic pump. Kind of feel like we should have done that earlier because now I haven't unlocked the basic pump, but okay. Uh, let's drop in. Oh, we have to demolish the... Hang on. Black that. Get a door in. 
door. Just there. Beautiful. Right, that makes things a bit easier. Um, now we need to figure out where we're going to build this pump arrangement. Oh, look at that. That person is in love with those fish. They love the fish. So, all right, let's get rid of all these boxes above it for now. Let's do that. An awful lot of fish that need food. Can we get on with feeding the fish? That would be really great if you could. Can we employ another person? There's no staff available. I would like to employ another person, but okay. Uh, let's build uh, across this way. Let's build across this way. We'll put a tank down here. Can we just put a regular tank? A lagoon tank. Oh, look at that. Oh, and that's perfect for down there. That's perfect for down there. So let's just expand that bit out like to there. How much is that going to cost? 640. Oh, we've got loads of money. We've got loads of money. Right. Pause. Pause for one second before everybody gets very excited. Let's stop them from coming down this way. There we go. You stopped. You barred. So now we can put the lagoon tank in. Get this ready. So we'll build this thing. So we can go, right, there's a lagoon tank. Oh my goodness, we can stretch it out that way as well. So a lagoon tank can go just there, which is fine. Might need to put another little tiny bit just there, just to expand that out a bit more, which is fine. That's good. It's all behind the barriers. It's all good. And then that thing, we then need to do the pump. So pump at least three tiles away. So one, two, three. So we can put the pump here, attach some stuff to it, and then put it over there. But at the minute, we need to unlock the pump. So let's just rush time on. Speed time on our prestige was over 200 there a second ago. That's tremendous. Plummeting a bit now. Yeah, Stabilising again. It's fine. It fluctuates. So, uh, yeah, now he's got to wait. Day 8. Oh, we've got a little message, have we? Hello. Coral grouper has grown. Oh. Oh, dear. Just that. Oh, they can eat things up to size 3. Okay, is, is that putting pressure on the size of the tanks? Have we got issues there? 15 out of 15. That's maximum. Oh, yeah, so it's not as straightforward as just you built it and then you leave it. You have to sort of uh, you have to sort of plan for these things as well. This is very cool. I like this game a lot. It's very, very good. Okay, let's wait until this is done. We can do nothing else until that pump is done. So let's research the pump, get the pump completed. We'll connect it to this great big lagoon tank and we'll put some fancy fish in there. Maybe another eel or something in there. Maybe we can put two eels in there. It holds up to 53. So that's quite a lot of water in there. So yeah, so we'll, we'll sort that out once we've got this pump unlocked. And the pump is unlocked. Yay! So the basic pump is done. That's splendid. Pause for a second. What's happened? You've grown again. Has somebody else grown? Is that is that what I'm supposed to be looking at now? Okay, now, is this pushing our size limits to the max? Yeah, no, no, because the one's over there. We can always move fish around. We can always take them out of tanks and put them in other tanks if we have to. Okay, now we can build a pump. We've unlocked the pump. The pump, I assume, is in here. I guess it's in there. Right. Basic pump. Let's put a pump just uh, there. The range of effect thing seems to reach that lagoon tank, which is fine. There's kind of a very faint sort of area effect. So we'll put the pump there because it's got to be at least three tiles away. So we'll pump at least three tiles away. So we'll connect that to that. Okay. So that's now connected. That pump is pumping into there, but it's not doing anything. So now sufficient water quality. So we have to put something next to it. What about power combi? That gives it 40 filter power, which is quite a lot. 40 temperature. Let's just let's just give that a go, shall we? So then that will pump into there. But that's not enough temperature. Look at that. That's only 40 out of 53. So that's got to have a lot more stuff put into it. So about a power heater adds another 36. Uh, or what was it? 30 out of 40. Hang on. What was the temperature? What was what was the issue we were having there? 40 out of 53, so it needs another 13. So what we could do is then get ourselves a basic heater, put that next to the pump, like that, and ah, this is this is very cool. So now that's pumping stuff. It doesn't have to be next to it behind these walls. So you could, in theory, just build a big load of hidden walls, put all the pumps behind them, and have it so you can walk around them. And some of them you can have like this behind walls with... Ah, oh, this is very cool. Okay, right. We've done that. Any animals, sufficient water quality, sufficient heating, equipment connected to tank via pump. Now, when you place your heaters and filters, connect them with the pump, not the tank. I've done that. Maybe I need to put the fish in. Maybe I actually need to sort of uh, do actually something with it. So let's get ourselves some rubble, because this thing's huge. This is a huge, big old thing. So let's get some rubble in there. I want to put the eel thing in. Oh, in fact, you know what? Let's put a couple of them in. A couple of those things in. So yeah, well, they need somewhere to live. They need a little sort of uh, hidey place. 
Oh, I wanted to do the thing. I want to put another one in. One of your guests is thirsty. Built some vending machines. Yes. So have somewhere to purchase a drink. Selling your guests refreshments is a great way to boost income. Indeed. Indeed. I bet it is. Can we rip them off completely? So we'll have a couple of eels in there. Beautiful. And do you know what? Let's have four. They can go to nine each. That's nine, eight, two, twenty-seven, thirty-six. So that's fine. They should be fine in there. So we'll have four eels. But they are going to need places to live. So let's get lots of these things in. Let's get ourselves... Oh, that's kind of under the ground, look. Uh, one, two, three. Like that. And then let's just put some green in because we can. Eel grass. That would make sense given the reels. There we go. Beautiful. So now that should work. It's connected to a pump. It's going through there. The pump is over there. That, this is lovely. Right, build three vending machines. Yes, I'm all for this. A fizzy drink vending machine. Absolutely. Uh, let's put one there. It's probably not the best place for it, but whatever. It'll do. Let's put one, Anna. This, cause this is like our little sort of uh, sort of uh, foodie area. So we'll put one. Um, <laughs> we need a bit more room. We need a bit more space down here. Let's put one in that corner. One just there. And I won't mind one there. Let's put one there. The only thing is, I don't know if people can walk around through that gap. I'm not entirely convinced they can. Do you know what we could do? Move that just there. Um, oh, hang on. Right, now we need to redo the pump, I believe. So we need to do the redo the... How do we, how do we say to reconnect the pump thing? Oh, I've broken it all. Hang on. Pump. Pump. Reconnect. Reconnect the pump to the thing. How, how do we tell it to reconnect the pump? Ah, there is an add tank button. So you click on the pump. You put add tank. We'll put it to there. It's all good. It's all good. Stand down, everybody. Stand down. Okay, phew. So, uh, yeah, my plan was to move that maybe into the middle. Can we just sort of move that around a bit? And then rotate it. So that can be there. So people can sit down and look in there. And then people can get round this way. Okay, let's move time on. Let's see what happens. So now I need to reach rank four. Now this should hopefully draw in lots of people. This should draw in lots and lots of attention. It's a great big massive lagoon style tank. It looks very awesome source. Hopefully that should get us to 220 fairly quickly. Oh dear, one of your guests has thrown their fizzy drink litter on the ground. Well, who is it? I'm going to kick him out. I'm going to littering. Littering is a, a shocking thing to do. Where are they? I'm going to tell them off. Put a broom stand. And get one of your staff to clean it up. Surely, like a like a trash bin would be would be the best thing to do. Um, a broom stand. Okay. Right. Well, let's put one there, and then let's. Put, you can really see my time your staff spend sweeping. Ah, by placing bins. Right. Okay. That also makes perfect sense. I want another broom stand first. Uh, in there, broom stand over that side. Just there, and then let's get ourselves bins. Right, here we go. This is all, yeah, this is your basic stuff. This is your good stuff. Uh, a bin, just there. And have our bin kind of there as we walk in. So, yeah, you can throw something in the stuff just as you're leaving. You can just chuck stuff in there as you're going out. And one just there. So, that's cool. Right. Move time on. Let's clear the pump thing. Have we done that? Reward. We need to get 220. I think we'll do that momentarily. Yay. And oh, we're going to go up a level. We're going to go up to prestige level four, which means we get shiny new things. What shiny things do we get? <gasps> kelp. We get some kelp. This giant seaweed creates underwater forests. <gasps> Perfect for larger fish and sharks. Sharks. I want to get sharks. Species of kelp can grow up to half a meter daily, reaching up to 80 meters in height. Okay, maybe I don't want 80 meter high kelp. That's going to require a very big tank. Rocky overhang. Okay, that's cool. Rocky tunnel provides a larger shelter. Gotcha. Fox face, rabbit fish, reef squirrel fish, blue knuckle hermit crab. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. Let's go. Congratulations on reaching rank four. Now, the new animals you can unlock at this rank are the first crustaceans. Uh, this blue knuckle hermit crab is a great support animal because it doesn't need feeding and actually provides additional filtering. Oh, so it just eats the grot from inside the things, is it? Okay, you now have your final objectives. You may also receive optional objectives from third parties. In return for fulfilling certain requirements, they'll offer you a reward. It's completely up to you whether you do what that. Okay, fine. Right you are. What do you want to research? Well, let's research the little crab dude. Let's research crab dude. And let's also research... Um, whatever. Either or. Filter. Why not? Get the filter done. So what's our goal? 200... Oh, 350. Oh my goodness me. 
That's that's quite a lot. That's quite a big goal. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, they're not messing around with that then, are they? Uh, okay, let's build a great big bit down there like that. That's 1,260. We can, we can certainly afford that. And then let's get a wall in quick before people think they're funny and go over that way and go, ha ha, look, I'm coming into the secret bit where I shouldn't be. You can go, yeah, get off you. Uh, right. So I think we need you then, Mr. Crab. We need Crab Man in. Uh, we'll probably put him in one of these tanks. Have we just got the lagoon tanks again? Yeah. I want to put him in. I want to put him in, Mr. Crab Man, into the lagoon tank that's sort of this way. Yeah, let's make it just a big square lagoon tank and just fill it with crabs. That'll be cool. And then we'll get the stuff in while we're here. 252 out of 350. We're doing very well with this. We'll get Mr. Crab very soon. So if we equip all this stuff now, we get ourselves a pump, which should reach. Yeah, pump to that thing. Then get heaty things, wherever they might be. Uh, where are they? Up there. Power combi. Will that do? Will that suffice? It does for the one thing and not for the other. Yes, we need more temperature. So let's get ourselves the basic heater. Throw that in. So that's now warm enough. Uh, I don't know what they're going to like. What do they need? They eat crust... Oh, no, they're going to eat crustaceans. They filter the water. Oh, they don't eat anything. That's it. So we'll just chuck a load of them in. We'll just throw a load of those things in. And then possibly put some of these in as well when we get there. So we'll, after we've unlocked Mr. Crab Face, we'll unlock... Uh, you, Fox Face. <laughs> what was it? A squirrel fish. No, we're going to get a, a cow fish. Cool. We're going to get a squirrel fish. Because I want one. So, um... Oh, hang on. Has I, have I disconnected that? Have I disconnected that? Why is it constantly telling me to connect that up? Oh, no, that's fine. It's all, it's connected. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so we need him. We need you. Ooh. That's not providing sufficient stuff. That's that's not good. That might be why my, my, my points are coming down. That's why my prestige is coming down, because this is bad. Uh, let's get that looked at. What do we need? A bit of filtering. A basic filter will probably help with that. Uh, 60 out of 65. Is that still not enough? Okay. Let's sell the basic filter. Let's get in the really massive, powerful filter. That's got to do it. 64 out of 65. Can I put more things around the edge? Can I put a basic filter as well? Does that count working for that? No, it does not count. Uh, okay. Right. Move everything must be located just to pump attack. I need to move the pump first, though. Oh, you can move the whole arrangement. Right, that's lovely. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to move that. <laughs> don't move that, though. Okay, now, hang on, reconnect. No, no, that, that to there. Right, that's fine. Don't move anything else. And now get another basic filter thing and put that there. And that's good. Right, splendid. Right, crab. Crab face. Hurry up and get researched, crab face. Yay! Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab. Right, so let's get ourselves... Let's get a squirrel fish. Squirrel fish. What's that? Needs to be in a group of at least four. Yep, yeah, we can cope with that. Absolutely. Orange Pellet. Yep, yeah, we can cope with that as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's all good. Three prestige. Oh, they get five prestige. That gets five prestige. Can't be with a bully. It might eat starfishes. It's armoured. Okay. And eat cockles. Okay, so we'll have to have a special thing but that's fine we can put that there let's get that that attra attracts more prestige let's get that in uh we've got a crab yay lovely right let's put crab face in let's throw you in uh, and we've got a new filter as well oh that might be useful earlier mightn't it right let's just put one two three four five six seven eight nine that many in like that many crab things just throw them in <gasps> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The, 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 the thing just went ballistic there. The, the uh, prestige just went through the roof. Wow. Right, let's get ourselves some stuff. Let's get some rubble. Throw some rubble in. Let's get ourselves a rocky overhang. Yes, crabs love rocky overhangs. And then let's get a bit of kelp, possibly, in the corners. That looks nice. Like that. And then when we've got this done, we'll throw that fish into that tank. And I bet that'll tip us over 300. We might go over 300 now. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're doing very well. So we'll get you in. What are you? The cowfish. Yeah, because you've got good prestige sort of gathering. Oh, we're coming back down a bit on prestige. Come on. Come on. More prestige. 
It's very good here. Everyone should be very impressed. So, uh, what else do we want to do now? That vending machine looks in a bit of an idiotic place now. Can we move the vending machine, please? Just rotate it round. Put it there. Um, yeah, we need you. We need you. We need Mr. Cowfish to be unlocked. 320. We're, we're nearly at that point. We might not even need the cowfish. Oh, no, it's coming back down again. It's coming back down a little bit. I suspect we might just need you just to push us over that 350 mark. Okay, that's fine. Do you eat shellfish? Uh, no. But you do eat cockles. Okay, let's research the squirrel fish. Unlock that first armoured animal. <laughs> armoured animals count as twice the size when determining whether they can be eaten by a predator. Make some excellent tank mates for your fish and crustacean eating animals. Okay. Right, pause for a second. We need to get in a cockles dispenser. Flip that round, put that there. And then let's get ourselves whatever you were again. You. A cowfish. So let's throw four of uh, five of those in. Why not? In fact, you know what? Let's go mad and put six in. Oh, oh, hang on. I've made it go all cause hunger. The blue hermit crab. Oh, hang on. Can we can we sell a fish? Oh, one of them might die. It's oh no, there. Look, it's the low water quality. For, hang on. We've got a filter for that. We can put a fancy filter on. In fact, a power filter will probably work for that because it only took up three points. Ta-da! Don't worry, everybody. I've sorted the problem out. Hopefully, we can get over 350 now. I'm sure when everyone comes over... Oh, look at the look at the science, ecology point things that it just accrued. There's loads. I think we just... Now we just sort of wait. I think now we wait. That'll creep up. And then we'll get 350. It's going back down. Stop going back down. Come back up. Come back up to 350, you silly thing of bombs. Oh, there we go. Uh, large heater done. Right, we've got nothing else to research science-wise. Okay, right, let's see if this creeps up, if our, if our prestige creeps up any. Okay, it got to 326. It is creeping up. We've got reef squirrel fish. So we need to pick our next research. We've only got the fox face rabbit fish left. So we'll have you. In the meantime, I think we need to put that other one in. Whatever the one is that we just unlocked. So let's put that in. Let's build a little walled area along here and then we can maybe put the uh, yeah that's what we could do we could have those tanks again let's have a wall tank one wall tank there is okay like so and then we'll build walls around it so you can't go that way because that's just silly and then we'll have a bit coming down like that do you want to have a corner tank in the corner down there possibly we could put another fish in it Let's have a corner tank. If we rotate it round, uh, like... Uh, no, it's not going to work in that particular corner, is it? That's because it's facing the wall. That's not very good. Unless we had it like... That's too near the thing. Do you know what? Let's just have a normal... Let's just have a regular wall tank. Another one. Like that. Uh, and going back one. If I know, let, let's just have a smaller wall tank like that. And then we'll have the door just there. Pop the door on. Lovely. Uh, now, what was the thing we just got? <laughs> what what were they called? Um, none of those. What was it? A reef squirrel fish. That's it. So it needs a cave. And that's about it. It needs a cave. Okay, so if we drop one, two, three, four, five of those in. And then give it... Uh, not there. Give it a... What's that one? Give it a rocky overhang. That'll look good. Like that. Then we can put all the heaters and stuff in it. So it needs to be 23. So a power heater will work for that. So took that there. Then needs a filter. So grab a power filter and put that there. Then we just want to get some grass stuff in there. Let's see if this works. Let's get... What does that thing do there? Can only fit in a deep tank. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that makes sense. A uh, couple, of, couple of sea lettuces. There we go. And now, let's see if that works. Is that going to push us over 350? I suspect... Oh, so, so nearly at 350. And, yeah, there we go. Splendid. I have accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. Yes, I have. I'm brilliant. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. You restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into the impressive aquarium you see before you. Well, thank you very much. You can continue to build here at Northwoods. Yep, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Or we can come back. We can go to Elmshorn next. It looks very wooden in Elmshorn. 
Everything looks very wooden and ye olde world. Ooh, ooh, look the stairs. Is that like a multi-level thing? That looks huge. What's that got in it? Like great big? It's like got a squid. Is that got some sort of squid or octopus or something? I want that. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back next time. We shall have a go at that. And yeah, I think this is going to form a little mini series. We shall have a mini series of Mega Chrome because I'm enjoying it a lot, <laughs> nerding out over all the things. And yeah, it's refreshingly. It's quite it's quite lovely to play. So yeah, we'll be coming back to this. So we'll be going to Elm's Horn, having a look at just why everything looks kind of different to what we've got now. Because yeah, the floor looks different, the walls all look different. Everything looks slightly different. So yeah, we shall certainly be coming back for that. I'm just intrigued as to what that is. Yeah, so there's a step, there's a step in there actually, which is platforms to allow stuff to climb up. So I assume if there is a big, massive tank, they have to have steps to like chuck the food in, is what I'm guessing. But we shall find out next time. We'll find out next time in Elm's Horn. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe if you're not ready to see how we get on in Elm's Horn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture is coming down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going on? <laughs>